G'day Gemini, welcome back to TJ Terran and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards to start with for the love energy that's being directed at Gemini right now. So it is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlists and see if something resonates for you there. Okay. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Gemini right now. Wow, big pile of cards. <clears throat> Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Clarify card three, please. going. Get the rest out. Three more for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Hope you're all doing well, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, whenever and wherever you are watching this, or wherever you're watching this from, and whenever you are watching this. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one. Clarify card one in row two, please. And don't forget to spoil yourself with something nice too. Because you deserve it, Gemini. Got for card two in row two, please. Will. Okay. And clarify card three, please. Will. Okay. It's a very talkative energy today. And I'll do what they would like to say to you at the end of the reading. Let's begin. Oh, deception. Someone is wearing a self well self someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Hmm. Seven of Cups. The Strength card. Eight of Swords. Alright. So, lots of cutting words here to create confusion. They feel stronger when you're trapped in your head by those words of confusion that they're firing at you. But it's to hide something. They're hiding something. Let's pull these down. Three of cups, wow, six of swords, two of swords, and the king of cups. See, yeah, yeah, it's possibly a third party here that they're hiding from you, or that they're going out partying with other people. <clears throat> but they're trying to move things with you to calmer waters, but there's indecision here about showing emotion. Yeah. They don't want to, yeah, they don't even want to see making a choice to show emotion, keeping you trapped here. This is very deceptive energy here. They're dodgy as. Shunky as shark. Shite. Okay, flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Yeah, they're definitely a flirt. I think they're more than that. A king of pentacles. The hangman. Two of wands. And the high priestess. Wow. Yeah, I think they flirt with married people. Is what I heard when I saw the king of pentacles. They even flirt with married people here. Sorry. 
Yeah. And just leave people hanging, never making a decision here, keeping secrets. Yeah, it's fair dodgy as. Sorry about the coffin in the readings. Um, basically, one, I'm a smoker. So, yes, I know I need to give up, and I will when I'm ready. Um, but the other thing, too, is I don't talk this much all week. And then I come home, <laughs> come home and do the readings on Sunday. Sunday night and talk for non-stop for five hours so yeah <clears throat> my voice isn't used to it anyway release your ex the time has come to clear your energy the king of swords that's your energy so this is your ex knight of cups and the nine of cups so, yeah, this is someone that you've released. This is your ex. There were actions of love, but it was like... You giving the love, male or female. There's no... I'm not specific here with gender. Um, but you giving them love to fill their cups was what it was about. I don't, didn't see them showing you actions of love. <sighs> was you filling their cups for emotional, yeah, the single card, it's all about them. It's their own emotional fulfilment, receiving love from you. And there was nothing for you, that's why you release them. <clears throat> but yeah, they're still playing the deception game, still being a flirt. <laughs> Ownership, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. I don't see this energy taking ownership of anything. <clears throat> Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, yeah. All the painful endings that they've caused, they're still defensive about taking ownership for them. And try to get people on their side about it. Yeah, very defensive about taking ownership for the fact that they've hurt a lot of people, not just you. Forgiveness, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release parts hurts. Two cards, the same pattern. Two of Wands, Justice, and the Page of Swords. Mm. See, I'm getting the indecision here with the, the two paths to take to get forgiveness. But I don't think they're really fo worried about forgiveness, really. I think they're focused on their own world and whoever's presently in that world at the time, I really don't feel that they're seeking forgiveness here. They know they should do the right thing. Well, karma's going to bite them in the butt. We know that. <laughs> um, they should could do the right thing and actually be mature and ask for forgiveness. But I think they'd rather spy and... Yeah, not, can't decide what action to take towards releasing the past hurts. And not so much forgiveness. <coughs> <coughs> oh, wow. <coughs> that was an attack on my throat. Well, they really don't want me talking about this. Oh, wow. Yeah, not looking to take action <clears throat> towards forgiveness. <coughs> Try, sorry, trying to balance, get things balanced with you by finding out information about you to play, play against you. Oh, I don't like this energy. Spying on you. 
It's even if they get, it's, I'm hearing like trying to get dirt on you. Trying to find a way where you have to forgive them. Because <coughs> they're not going to take ownership for what they've done. Yeah. They don't know what action to take to uh, towards forgiveness because it's not... Trying to find some sort of justification, justification for what they've done and trying to get information on how to justify what they've done rather than get forgiveness <coughs> and admit fault, take ownership. Yeah, thank you. Oh, they really didn't want me to tell you that. <coughs> Harmony, you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Because that cough came out of nowhere. That was like an attack. <coughs> wow. Harmony. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Three of Wands. Four of Cups. Yeah, see? This is the... They want everything balanced between you two. For you to be loving and stable and committed to them. But they're never going to make a decision about this. They're going to make you wait. And they're not going to take up any of your offers. Any emotional offers. Pouring out emotion here. Like not interested in it. Going to keep you waiting. Never going to say whether it's on or off still. But wanting you committed here. That's the... Yeah. And we've got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, yeah. They go for stable people like you. People that want love and stability and a commitment. But they never commit, they never say yes or no, they keep people waiting, they refuse their offers of emotion. And they're a player, thank you. <laughs> thank you, cards. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, totally in control of their actions, know exactly what they're doing. Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit. Getting people to invest in them, but it's all about themselves. This is a single card again. Benefiting themselves. And they probably ghost people. She you start investing in them. And you pick up your little pentacle and go off towards them to say, all right, let's have a stable beginning here. They're gone. Disappear in the night. They're like you being committed to them. But no, they're just a player. They know exactly what they're doing. <clears throat> and if you try and move towards this being something to invest in, or getting them to invest in the situation, they've, they're gone. <coughs> yeah. No, you know what this ex is like, Gemini. You've dealt with them before. They're still the same. They're still deceptive. They're still a flirt. They're still playing head games and mind games and causing confusion and wanting people, you know, flirting with the people they want to be stable, but they're left hanging by them. But they're keeping all that a secret. Sorry. Bumping the mic there. Yeah, what a dirtbag. Look at that. You are beautiful. You are a Gemini. You are beautiful. There's no no denying that. But this is what they're going to say to deceive you. All right, what would this energy like to say to Gemini, please? I'm going to reinforce my shields so they don't attack me anymore. That was very vicious. I'm afraid it will never work out. See? They're not afraid. That's what they'll be saying to you. Oh, I'm afraid it's not going to work out, Gemini. Um, yeah. Well, they're also afraid that they're not going to get you to commit to them again. And they're not going to, it's not going to work out the way they want it to work out. Wow. What a cheek. What a nerve. Wow. 
Yeah, you know who this is. And you know to stay away. You've released them before because of their selfishness and their deceptions and their flirting. So they're still not taking ownership for what they've done. Trying to worm their way out of forgiveness. Trying to justify what they did rather than ask for forgiveness. And, you know, everything would be wonderful if you would just love them and they kept playing their games. Uh, <clears throat> wow. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, very dodgy energy. <clears throat> well, as I've heard the saying, you can tell them to kick rocks. <laughs> Which I'm sure you probably will, because you're not looking for this energy. That's why you release them in the first place. So, yes. Alright, well, that's your reading for this week, Gemini. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You're all awesome. Hopefully we get something better next week. But just letting you know, yeah. They think this ex is thinking about you right now, so be careful. Alright, all the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you next week. <laughs>